Good morning, Phoenix High School, and welcome to PHTV. My name is Audrey Hazel. And I'm Jennifer Vargas. Hey, Audrey, nice outfit. You look super comfy. Thanks. I'm kind of wanting to crawl back into bed right now. I feel ya. I'm in a cuddling mood. But hey, it's the first day of our Homecoming Spirit Week. Students pay close attention to this segment we made to inform you about this week's dress updates. Let's roll it. Monday is Comfy Cozy Day or Pajama Day. Tuesday is Camo or Flannel Day. Wednesday is Twin Day. Thursday is Superhero vs. Supervillain Day. On Friday, freshmen wear red, sophomores wear white, and juniors wear blue. Juniors, you better dress up. We have to win. No, no, no. Seniors are going to win. Okay, enough of this, enough of this. <laughs> we have a lot of announcements we need to get to. If you dressed up for Spirit Week and would like to earn Spirit Points for your class, please make sure at break you go to your class's corner in the, of the Commons and get marked by leadership students to earn your class points. Also, this week there will be a class competition in the form of a candy drive. If your class turn, if your class can turn in your candy at the front office, um, whichever class brings the largest amount of weight in the form of candy wins. Well, continuing with homecoming week, tonight He-Man Volleyball will take place in the large gym at 7 p.m. On Tuesday, Ultimate Frisbee will be outside on the football field at 7 p.m. And Wednesday, the homecoming parade will start at 6 p.m., immediately followed by the Powder Puff football. Kickoff will be at 7 p.m. on the football field. And finally on Friday, there will be a homecoming assembly, and later that evening, our football team will take on the Klamath Union Pelicans. Let's all be there to support our pirate football team take home the win for our homecoming game. Then on Saturday, the homecoming dance will be at 8 p.m. This year's theme is Mardi Gras. Make sure if you're going to wear a mask that it only covers your eyes. In honor of homecoming week, the yearbook class would like to challenge the student body to a photography contest. Download the app, replay it on your phone, and create a login name and password for Phoenix High School. This will allow you to send any pictures you have taken on your phone to the Phoenix High School yearbook website. The person who takes the best photo that captures the spirit of homecoming week will win spirit points for their class. In other announcements, this Wednesday, October 15th, there will be an FFA meeting at lunch in Mr. Kennedy's classroom. Come by for fun and information, and pizza will be provided. And Strategic Board Games Club will begin meeting on Thursdays instead of Wednesdays from now on. Students who were in the Community Voices program last year will be having a reunion and completing a survey today. Please go to the Commons after PHTV. If you were in top last year and have not completed your survey, please go to the Commons as well. Those students who are planning on attending the Speech and Debate Mock Congress at Grants Pass at the end of this month will have a meeting during lunch in Mr. Roderick's room. See Mr. Roderick if you have any questions. Do you have a brain? Do you enjoy competition? Are you looking for a new club to join? The PHS Brain Bowl team is meeting on Wednesdays at lunch in Mr. Thiering's room. All are welcome and bring your lunch. I think everyone has a brain, or at least you should, so check out Mr. Thiering's room on Wednesdays. The detention room has been moved. Detention will take place in Mrs. Carvalho's old classroom, room N107A. Jen, I am so upset that I wasn't student of the month. I just don't understand what I did wrong. Well, let's check out this segment to see what student, September's Student of the Month theme was and who those students are. Roll it. Students of the Month of September. Outgoing, interested in, and responsive to others. 
Friendly, sociable. Stepping out of your comfort zone. Freshman, Emma McCrady. Sebastian Herring. Sophomores, Travis Gutridge. Lindsey Burns. Juniors, Emma Amundsen. Kyle Bodermans. Seniors, Jose Juan Carrillo. Mariah Anway. Congratulations to the Students of the Month for September. You'll get them next time, pal. Students, remember, if you signed up to take the PSAT this Wednesday, you need to be in the small gym at 8 a.m. Also, if you want to retake or still need to take a school photo, picture retakes will be next Tuesday, October 21st. Also, the college fair is tomorrow. Lynn Benton will be speaking before departure at 8.30 a.m. Stop by the College Corner and sign up to listen to colleges talk throughout the week. Remember, if you're in need of extra help here at school, ASAP will be Tuesdays through Thursdays in the library from 3.30 to 4.25. There will be a bus to take students home. Also, Jen Perry from College Dreams is trying to recruit 39th and 10th grade students to participate in a series of STEM, Science, Technologies, Engineering, and Math workshops through RCC. There will be three sessions that students will attend, and the focuses will be industrial technologies, healthcare, and business slash computer science. If you are interested in being one of the 30 students, see the College Corner for more information. This next announcement is for all of our new crew members that stepped aboard the pirate ship this year, aka new teachers. If you have not submitted your photo and information that goes in our all hands on deck display case, please give that to Denise at the front office as soon as possible. Um, this next, uh, thespians will be participating in their first community service project called TOTS Eat or Trick or Treat So Kids Can Eat. TOTS is the International Thespian Society Annual Nationwide Community Service Initiative. Over 291 thespian troops collected more than 385,000 pounds of food during the 2013 TOTS Eat Food Drive. The Phoenix High School troop will collect non-perishable items this year to benefit the Maslow Project, an organization that helps homeless youth in Southern Oregon. Canned goods and other non-perishable items may be dropped off in the main office or given to Mrs. Brown in room S307. The national goal is 400,000 pounds, so let's help thespians reach that goal. This week's lunch menu is on Monday there will be Pirate Bowl, Tuesday bean and cheese and gelatas, Wednesday will be chicken fried steak with smashed potatoes, gravy, and a roll. Thursday will be barbecue chicken burger, and Friday, macaroni and cheese. Students, this is the start of week three of the Healthy High School Challenge. If you want to see how our school is doing, go to Facebook slash Healthy High School Challenge. So let's go, Pirates. The more you eat lunch at school, the more points we will earn. Go, Pirates! If you are in need of La Clinica for medical, physical, and dental reasons, please go to the attendance office to sign up. In sports action, our boys played the Henley Hornets last Monday, winning by a score of 1-0. Then on Thursday, they took on Klamath Union, defending their home field, winning by a score of 3-1. Today, the Hidden Valley Mustangs are galloping their way towards Culver Fields to take on our Pirates. Make sure to come out and support boys soccer. Thursday, they will travel to North Valley. Good luck. Our girls soccer team traveled to Henley last Monday, came home with a loss of 5-0. Then on Thursday, they traveled to Klamath Union, falling by an identical score of 5-0. to zero. Our girls will travel to Hidden Valley today, and Thursday, North Valley will be stepping into Pirate territory. Good luck, and Pirates, make sure to come out and support our girls' soccer team on Thursday at home against North Valley. In volleyball action, our girls played Klamath Union at home last Tuesday, defeating them in three sets to zero. Thursday, they traveled to Mazama, sweeping the Vikings by a score of three sets to zero. On Tuesday, they will travel to North Valley. Then on Thursday, they will head into Mustang Territory to take on Hidden Valley. Good luck, girls. Our football team traveled to Henley on Friday, coming out victorious against the Hornets with a score of 34-27. to Make sure to come support our Pirates at our homecoming game against Klamath Union on Friday. Kickoff will be at 7 p.m. 
And in cross country news, at the George Fox Classic, Phoenix's Dan Danielle Yancer broke the sophomore school record in the 5,000 meters with a time of 18 minutes 50 seconds. And teammate Randy Mena scored the Pirate Program's 16th fastest mark, 16 minutes 26 seconds, at Willamette Mission State Park. Wednesday, they will take on. They will. Take action here in Central Point. Make your way down to the fairgrounds to show your support. Good job to all of our fall sports this year and keep up the good work. We now have an announcement from our athletic director, Coach Walker, about eligibility for winter sports. If you're an athlete wanting to participate in basketball, wrestling, or swimming, make sure you pay close attention to this segment. Here's Coach. Now an announcement from Coach Walker about winter sports. Listen up. Winter sports season begins November 17th. Practices officially begin on that date. To be eligible for winter sports, you must have passed five classes in the fall quarter or the fall grading period. You also have to have um, insurance and physical. Um, physical has to happen every two years. Insurance paper, ha paper has to happen once a year. So if you did an insurance paper in the fall for a fall sport, you were good to go for the year in terms of that. Now during the playing season, um, if you do have F's during the current playing season, you must, must be making an effort to get those F's up, which basically puts you on academic probation. If you haven't shown progress, uh, based on a weekly progress check, you will be held out of competitions for F's during the playing season. This has been a message from RAD Coach Walker. Keep up your grades, Pirates, and make sure you turn your paperwork in. Hey, Audrey, guess what? What's that, Jen? It's trivia time. You are so right, Jen. Last week's question was, who is our football team playing for the homecoming game? And the winner is... <laughs> the winner is... <laughs> uh, Tony Bazan in Mr. Carvalho's classroom with the answer of Klamath Union. So go to Mr. Rhodes' room to collect your prize. This week's question is, what is the theme of the homecoming dance? Remember to stick around for the pledge. As always, this has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.